in the circles and then reverse them. And then your foot is going to do the work. So we're building strength in the arch. And then you're going to reverse. Good. And then one last little wiggle and shake, kind of pressing your fingertips even more into the crevasses of your toes. And then you're going to gently pull your fingertips away out of your toes. From here, you're going to take your right arm into the instep of your foot and your left over the bridge of your toes, like so. And you're basically going to twist it. Like, oh. remember that, yeah, that Indian burn type of thing where you do on each other's arms in middle school? <laughs> like that sensation. So the arch is pulling up. The toes are pointing down. So what we're doing right now is we're kind of secure. Our tissues are very pliable, right? Even, even on like bone on bone and all this kind of shit, like t bone are, is also tissue. It's bone tissue, right? So the more that we can do this, the more we can actually affect structural change in the body. So what we're trying to think of and basically tell information into the foot is I want these toes to spiral down and I want the arch to spiral up. And then you're gonna switch. So the toes up, arches down. Am I doing it, Maddie? Yeah, you're doing great. It it also it doesn't it doesn't feel like um like a tense release like we just did. It's yeah. more of um a like a like a superficial kind of uh energetic motion. Yeah, exactly. You're basically it's like you're um like you're trying to twist or wring out exactly like a towel. Cool. Great. And then you're just going to place your foot in front to match the other foot. And then you're just going to look at your feet. Huh. So I always do this feedback mechanism um, because it's kind of brain training where you can be like, oh, this is actually working. So what do we notice right away? It looks so, it's like glowing. It looks so much better. <laughs> Hashtag Foot glow, anyone? Foot glow. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay, and then what else? I think it's just, <laughs> it definitely looks bigger than the other one. Like, there's got to be more blood flow to it. Yeah, right? <clears throat> so if I'm looking at my feet, I don't know if you can see, but my right foot is um, is not as, like, densely pink as the other. Yeah. Right? So we just circulated a ton of blood flow because the blood pools in the feet. We all know this because we've heard our parents say this. <laughs> At least, like, you know, my blood's pooling in my feet and I got to wear these compression socks. But anyways, so the right foot, let's start on the left foot already. The right foot, we just did this sense of like stimulating blood flow so that it can start to recirculate through the body. Um. So that's why people wear compression socks because it's it's helping the blood continue to flow into the body. So all of that being said, you're going to switch feet. And you might notice that there's more heat on your right side now. Um, so this is a wonderful exercise that you could just do like very mindlessly and, and kind of stacking like watching the television or having to read or anything like that or it's a really good one for just going running simply running which I don't do because I hate it Kristen loves it I don't know why it's always been a thing between us I met um I met this woman on Saturday who she's in her 60s mm -hmm. um she's about to, yeah, she's about to turn 70 and she's been a ballerina her whole life. Oh my God. And she similarly hates running with a passion. I hate it so much. Yeah. I yeah. So much. I just find it funny. It's like certain personalities are not into the running. <laughs> I just hate it. Are, I mean, do you know any dancers that are? That like to run? Yeah. I actually don't, but I know Pilates instructors because, you know, it's like the fitness thing. 
Yeah. Um, and then go ahead and circle, start to circle your ankle. So I don't know any dancers that like have a passion for running. Because uh, it is the AI yeah, just hate it so much. I just don't get it. Like I just can't. Can't get into it. But that's not true because you tried running. I know. Remember there those beach days? There was a binge. There was a binge in Los Angeles in your LA days. There was a time yeah. when I remember you telling me you would go to the track. Oh, my God. I forgot about that. Yeah. And you loved it. Ugh. Yeah. There was oh, a time. The days, my younger days where I had more energy than I do now. This is why we keep old friends around to remind us of these. That's rare true. moments in our lives very 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 true um and then you're gonna do our little uh circling of the um of the hand so the foot is doing the work so here's a, an amazing stat 25 percent of our body's bones are inside of our feet wow hi from doug don't worry what money Oh, sorry. It was my mom. Oh, sorry. No, no, it's it's actually part of the fun of Corey Flower. You meet new friends. She was giving me money, and I was like, I mean, sure, but like, why? I'm so confused. <laughs> don't ask questions. <laughs> don't ask questions for that. And then go ahead and unlock your hands, and you're going to ring out your feet. So um, we're going to do a standing exercise after this, you guys. That is really a wonderful glute stabilizing exercise so remember you're wringing it out so one you're all you're over your arch and then one is over your toes and then you're wringing out two different directions yeah exactly guys and it actually for me the top of the feet when i do this it feels really good <laughs> like it just hasn't been this this skin hasn't been touched in a while or something yeah and just a couple more seconds. So we'll do a standing exercise after this. That's um, that that's really great for glute strength. It's one of my favorites I've been doing. Okay. And then again, you're just going to look at your feet and voila. Now you have new feet. And then you can spread your goddamn toes. Okay. So you're going to stand on up. And you're going to grab your mat. And Kristen, you're going to just grab a piece of clothing that you don't mind standing on. Okay. Like a jacket or something. And then you're just going to mess up your mat. Just like that. So right now we're trying to replicate what variable terrain is. So like walking and moving over. Under the okay. So you're going to stand on it. You're just going to look. Can everyone see my foot? The one that's closest to the camera? Yeah, cool. Okay, so you're going to see that. Um, you're going to look at that foot, and you're going to make sure that as you're standing, all five toes are facing the same direction in parallel. And then, surprise, we're doing a balance. Quite, quite, um, like right away, you can start to feel that this is actually not super um, difficult, not super easy either. So you're going to look at your knee, and you're going to make sure that your knee isn't going what's called valgus. And if you can look, you can see the angle of the knee is going in. What we're trying to do is find a little bit of a squeeze of your butt, your left butt cheek, so that your knee is right in line with your ankle. And then your right leg is just going to flex below it. So if you look at my leg, it's not um, lifted. It's kind of lower, but it's flexed. Okay. Are you turning on your left, Maddie? Yes, honey. Yeah. All right. Now you're just going to extend the right leg, hands on your hips, and it's going to go right out in line with the opposite foot. So you're just pushing something out and in, and it's really small. Now we're going lateral. So you're going to go to the side, Kristen, not the front. Yes. Good. And now you're going to go 10 times smaller, 10 times smaller to focus on two hips facing the same direction. This is not about mobilizing the hips. This is about stabilizing the hips. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Unlock knees, thinking about stacking the spine and standing straight up on your leg. So as you're reaching the right leg out, guys, you're not leaning to the side. We're going to do five more, and then you're going to tell me where you feel it.
Good. Two. And one. Go ahead and hop off, walk around. Okay, where are we feeling it? My glute. Yeah, left butt cheek. Mm -hmm. Where else? I felt like I was trying to do a lot of stabilizing using my left ankle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is a wonderful ankle strengthener. We're going to stay on the same side. And then um, I'm just going to face you. You're going to watch the camera angle. That's like my the outline of my whole body. So as I'm reaching the leg outward, what isn't happening is this. Like I could do this for the live long day, right? What we're trying to think about is imagine that there's like a wall here that's my hand that I'm trying to push into without having to compensate by my torso swinging to the other side. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take it to the front, trying not to shift in the hip, and then we're going to circle the leg out to the side, and then we're going to go back and forth. Now, this is a challenge to focus on how to keep your leg in parallel while we're doing this. Good. And Kristen, keep reaching that right hip, go in slow motion for me. Keep reaching that. See how that right hip is opening out towards me? We say mm -hmm. not today, hip. So it's supposed to be trying yes. to stay forward. Yes. Yes. There, pause. Now pull the toes as you're opening the leg. Pull the toes more towards the opposite side of the room, the other direction, like parallel the foot. Yeah. Everything is the same, um, but your leg is in re – everybody's going to rest. <gasps> just rest for a second. So as you're flexing the foot and reaching the leg around, what we're trying not to do is turn the leg out. We're trying to keep the same range of motion like so, okay? It's hard to fucking do in one time, but we're going to try it. You're just going to try this a couple more times. Yes. Yes, Kristen. Right. Yes. He's made it. Good, Jenna. So good. And you're moving between two range of emotion and it's going super slow like you're moving through peanut butter. One last time. Your glutes might be sore tomorrow because it's a tremendous amount of work. Awesome. Good. And then go ahead and relax. So these are your stabilizers. These are your glute meats. They're not like your ass glutes. These are your stabilizing glutes, which is they help with like not getting hip replacement. Those, these type of glutes. Okay, last exercise before we switch legs. You're gonna flex the right foot and then you're going to find the balance again, but you're going to bend the knee like you're going into a half of a pistol squat, just like a half one. Your weight is in your back of your heel. You're gonna push through your leg and then you're gonna go to the other side. Bend the knee, trying to keep the hips level, push through the leg. You can see this supporting knee, how I want to go valgus. I really want to think knees over my toes the whole time. Yeah, and I want you to go slow enough where you can actually self-correct to be able to be like, oh, okay, my knees are going inward actually when I'm bending my knees here. Yeah, keep leaning back like you're sitting back in a chair, you guys. Lean back. I'm just keeping my right leg stable the whole time. Correct. Actually, you're low. Sorry, you're lowering. You're tapping your heel down, Kristen. Oh, okay. I didn't, I, I didn't cue that. Yep. And so push through your legs. Stand back up. Yeah. And notice how the torso wants to come forward. We call that um like. Yeah, what we're trying to think about is that your torso isn't compensating for a lack of strength in your glutes and your hips. So keep thinking that your spine is going straight down and straight up. Nice, you guys. I'm looking out for your 30, 30 plus years self where you're going to be able to walk and just be a very happy person without hip replacements. Good. <laughs> One more time. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Hard as shit for me, anyway. Good. And then go ahead and walk it out for a sec. Awesome, awesome, possum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
Next slide. So this side might feel different. Everybody has, has a side that is more stable than the other. So we're just going to find out which one it is for you. So you're going to stand on your, what is it? Your right leg is standing. Uh -huh. Now, before you do anything, guys, I want you to lift the left leg floated up, and I want you to make sure that your hips don't even move as you're lifting your leg up. Yep. And just hold it there for a sec. Good. Nice. And then, Jenna, I want you to see if you can pull your right hip back two inches. Yes. Good. Nice. Okay, starting with the leg out to the side. So see if you can float the leg out to the side and hold it there and flex the foot a lot. Toes up to the ceiling. Yep. Nice. Now, um, I'm sorry, that was my bad cue. Try not to turn out. You're flexing your foot as if your toes were going up to the ceiling. You're not actually externally rotating your leg. Yes. There, Jenna. Pause. You got it. Out and in. Does that make sense, you guys? Yeah. Okay. I think so. Trying not to lock in the leg. And what we're doing is the leg is just going to go out and back in. And then we'll add the layer of forward and back, Jen. Okay. Great. Good. And um, love of my life, keep straightening your leg. Right leg straightens. It can yeah, yeah. I know. It's hard for people with hypermobility to find a straight leg and not a locked leg, but also not a bent knee. Okay. Yeah, it's challenging. Wonderful. That do I last need to hip my hips in this camera angle, or do I need to? No, just... this is great. Yeah, I this is super clear, and I can actually see you guys better than I can in person when I teach this. Okay, great. Good. Nice, Kristen. Lean back with your torso a little bit, as if you're about to fall. Yes, that is what it feels like when your bones are stacked. The leaning forward is uh, a different idea. Let's do a couple more. Good. Keep straightening your leg out and back in. Two. Good. And one. Good. Take a little walkie boo. Awesome. You can pat your leg out if you need to. Oh. Okay. It's going to feel delicious later on. Not right now. Oh, sorry, not other side. Um, uh, forward and back. So the foot is going to float forward. You're going to circle the leg out to the side. Pause. Good. Yes. And then back to the front. Amazing. Good. Unlocked knee. Okay, I'm interested. Nice. Now, Jenna, keep, keep as you're circling, lift your leg up a little higher. Yeah, so right there it starts to dip. We want to keep the same height of the leg the whole time. Ah. Good. Nice. Yep. Now, are you going to do a focus on postpartum? Yeah, actually, I just had a meeting this morning with a postpartum woman. Okay. Okay, great, because I'm thinking about getting pregnant. <laughs> no, I'm thinking about your business. And I've got I've got a client who is about to give birth. Oh, awesome. And I was thinking she would actually be a really amazing ambassador for you. Yeah, I would. Becca? Yes. Yep. Good. One more time. She's amazing. Yeah, I like, yeah, that, that's a, that for us, that's like a huge thing because of course, like moms, new moms are like, what is happening? Right. And you've been so like interested in postpartum bodies. And, yeah. rehab, and I know you've done great work with moms, like who have recently given birth. Yeah, that would know. be, yeah, that would be awesome, Kristen. Go ahead and take a little breaky poo, shake it out. Okay. So, um, the last thing is the bending and straightening of the leg. So the thing about um, the angle of the leg, as I'm brushing my leg out to the side, guys, what's really important is like my leg is doing a different idea than my two hip points, 
right? It's swinging around and it can do whatever it wants, but the hip points are mirroring the stability of this leg, right? So my hip isn't going with the leg. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if you imagine the shape of the pelvis, the shape of the pelvis is still the bones. It still stays where it is, but you're circling the leg inside of it to activate the deep rotators of the hips as opposed to moving the bones. We're not, that's not the goal. Blah, 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 Maddie. Okay. So as, oh yeah. So as we're doing it, you're going to sit back in that chair, find a baby pistol squat, touch, tap your heel. And then straighten the leg, circle the leg to the side, bend the knee, straighten the leg, and back up. Every time you're bending and straightening the leg, I want you to think like you're pushing the ground down. Five, six, seven, hit it, girls. <laughs> right, good. And Jen, see if you can slow down. And I want you to notice that kind of buckling in with the knee and the lifting of the hip. Yeah, 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 yeah. So try to drop your hip down. You don't have to go as low in order for the um, hips to stay square. Beautiful, Kristen. Keep leaning that torso back. Yeah, like you're moving your whole spine down a straight wall. Good, ladies. Amazing. Great. And I haven't even talked about breathing, but do that too. <laughs> that was the first thing to go. Right? It's always the first thing to go. Nice. Good. Think about that external rotation. So parallel, whole leg stays in parallel as you're circling it to the side. Right, Jenna? See how it wants to turn out? We say, not today, pesky leg. <sighs> not today good let's do two more times each side or not each side um each direction awesome my friends good good my loves and then go ahead and rest after this last one. Ugh, fucking hell maddie why'd you make me do that because i love you i care about your body and then without um, using your hands, you're going to crisscross your ankles. Test. <laughs> crisscross. crisscross your ankles and then have a seat like your I Dream of Jeannie. Hello. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and lay on down. You can undo your mat. Lay down with your feet flat on the mat. Knees are bent. And Kristen, don't worry about not having a mat. I could use this dirty towel I have. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So laying on down. Knees are bent. Feet are flat. Same principles of the parallel. So hips, knees, and feet are in one line. Often what I see is like one leg is doing something kind of deviant and then the foot is kind of turning out. Um, try to make sure that all 10 toes are facing the same direction. Just like so. Okay, palms down by your side. We're just going to get a little mobility for the back. We'll do some belly work and then we'll do some back work. So on your exhale, all you're going to do is find a pelvic tilt, which is just to say that you're scooping your tailbone towards your nose like you're pressing it um your back of your back onto the mat so you're flattening out the low back and then you're going to stay there in what's called a posterior tilt but you're going to try to make sure that you're not pushing into your feet to do the exercise okay. and then you're going to relax your tailbone back down <coughs> take a deep inhale and then exhale, use your belly and your transverse to scoop and hollow your navel. So low back pressing into the mat. And then releasing the hips back. So you're going to keep on doing this. This is just a low back um, lengthener. And I want you to think about pubic bone and two hip points. 
are like a triangle, right? And they're on the same plane when your back is in neutral. But then as you tip the pelvis and you press your pelvis down into the mat, the pubic bone gets a little bit higher. Wonderful, guys. Many, are, are we, I, I get the movement that you're pushing your pelvis into the mat, but what's the other movement? What's the counter movement? The count, there, it's just releasing the pelvis back to neutral. Good question. Okay. Yeah. Um, great question. Yeah. So we're, we could go into what's called an anterior tilt, which means that the hip points are higher and the pubic bone is dipping, but not today. Not the goal. Okay, my friends. Good. And then from this position, you're going to try to relax your glutes and you're going to dig your heels down and flex your feet, point the feet up to the ceiling. Yeah. Good. And then on your next exhale, you're going to scoop your tailbone again, keeping the glutes relaxed. You're going to lift your hips up a couple inches off of your mat. Try it. Right. Good. Seeing if you can sink your rib cage down towards your mat, but keep your hips lifted. Beautiful, you two. Hips are lifted, rib cage is sinking. Good. Make sure all 10 toes are facing the same direction. So Kristen, um, it's like you have a rubber band that's attaching both big toes. So there's an invisible connection between those toes. Beautiful. Nice. Good. And then feel like you're pressing your heels down and you're pulling your heels towards your butt, right? Contracting those hamstrings. Good. Breathing and holding here for three. What if I just stopped the number countdown? Forever <laughs> two. And one. And then lay the spine down bone by bone. Yeah, that was right. Good. You can relax your feet for a sec. And we'll do that one more time. How's everyone's hamstrings feeling? Worked. Well worked. Let's do it again. Because why the hell not? Take Monday. Monday. Yep. It's another magic Monday. Exhale, scoop your tailbone. Curl your tailbone towards your nose. Good. Kristen, try that one more time. And I want you to think about the bones coming first. You're scooping first. And um, Jen, this is a good correction for you too. She's going to scoop her tailbone, but she's not going to push into her feet to lift her hips up. She's actually just using the bones to lift her hips up. She's not pushing down to lift her hips up. She's using the strength in her muscles around her hips and not having to use her heels as leverage. That's gorgeous, Kristen. Then she's going to turn both toes more in. Yeah, so we're firing those inner thighs here too. Ta-da! Good. And now see if you can maintain that sense of pulling back with your hamstrings. Roll through the feet and lift your heels. Roll through my feet. Correct. Good. Yep, and try not to lift your rib cage to do it. So we're finding that ankle dexterity just from the ankles. And then roll through the feet, lift the toes. Beautiful, guys. Roll through the feet, lift the heels. Relax your chest if you can. No big deal in the chest. Roll through the feet, lift the toes. Good. One more time. Good. And then when your toes are lifted, roll down, my love. What did you say? Um, I'm feeling this in my calves mostly. Is that where you're supposed to feel it or should I be working from my elbow? No, no, no. Go ahead and roll down and lay down. It's a great question. So um, plantar fasciitis. Um, so when we're actually asking the feet to work and your calves have mm -hmm. to actually contract to lift your heels up, they're mm -hmm. working in a way, they're lengthening and contracting in a way they haven't when they're in shoes. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So like they're, yeah. they're basically moving in an unpredictable way and they're like, what is going on? So that's, that's super normal given the foot history that you've had. Um, and also we're moving, we're using our calves, right? Okay. 
but okay. it's just so when something is static, we'll be able to find it more local in your um, your hamstrings, which is why you feel it a lot when your toes are up. Makes sense, you guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So we just added something that's like basically a calf raise, heel raise. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, cool. that clicked. Okay. You're going to straighten your legs long on your mat or dirty towel. And then your hands are going to go to the back of your head. Great. Heels together, toes apart. Uh -huh. And the toes are just like a fist width apart here. Think about squeezing your heels, your inner thighs, and your butt. And then you're going to tip your chin towards your chest and you're going to look towards your toes. So finding like a really nice, easy crunch just to start. Yep. And then lift your head, neck, and shoulders up away from your mat. Good. As high as you can. So you're basically just on, hopefully the goal is to be basically just on the bottom of your scapulas. Yeah. So we come up higher and we hold because it's difficult. Holding here for three. You can relax your head in your hands. Come up higher in your abdominals for two. Gorgeous, ladies. Really good work. And one. And lower down. Good. Deeply inhaling here. And exhaling again. Tipping the chin to the chest. Contracting your abdominals to lift your head, neck, and shoulders up. And just holding. Just taking a look at your beautiful feet. Holding until we feel a little shaky shake. And then we relax. One last time without variation. Exhale, dragging the rib cage towards your hips to lift your head, neck, and shoulders up. Shortening the distance between your rib cage and your hips. Holding here. And lowering down. Great. Adding the legs. On your exhale, you're going to float the right leg up towards the ceiling as you lift the head, neck, and shoulders up. Good. You're going to tap your foot down towards the opposite foot as you lay back. You're going to kind of cross your ankles and then lift it right up again. Good. Cross, tap. Exhale, press up. Nice, guys. Think about moving from the rib cage, not the shoulders heave hoeing. It's about the rib cage flexing forward. Gorgeous. Five more here. Fun? Two. Now on this next one, see if you can scissor the legs and switch in midair. It's happening. Yes! I love it. Good. Right away, other side. Oops. Oopsie daisies. Good. Nice. Pelvis doesn't shift at all. We're moving from the inner thigh and the abdominals. How do these feel? Okay? Like good hurt? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good. Four more. Nice, ladies. Two. Awesome, Kristen. Looking great, guys. And last one. Good, Jenna. Lovely. Good. Rest. You can reach your arms up and above if you need to. Okay, adding a one final layer. So you know that little scissor that we did in the in the middle to transition that now becomes the exercise and we just repeat it. So you guys yawned at the same time. <laughs> Very good. So we lift one leg up, head, neck, and shoulders lift. We switch. One leg is gonna tap. Inhale, 
and switch, right? So it's not just a switch and hold and a switch and hold. We change legs, the leg drops, it taps the other toe, and then crossing the ankles. The whole while, we're trying to keep your head, neck, and shoulders up. If you want to add a twist, I wouldn't stop you, but let's just start there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Chris? I think so. I think so. Okay, don't mess it up. It's a lot of coordination getting used to. Totally, yeah. That's one of the goals. It's a good brain thing to keep that coordination up throughout one's leg. Anyway, you're going to lengthen the leg up to the ceiling. Right leg up. Hold. Head, neck, and shoulders lift up. Good. We start by switching and scissoring the legs. Scissor the legs. Left leg taps other ankle. Inhale. Exhale, scissor. Yes, you guys, and tap. Good, Jenna. Nice. You guys really have it. Not even just a little bit. You really have it. Good. And how about going a little faster just for fun? Inhale, tap and lift and change. Tap and lift and change. Three more each side. Good. Come up higher, Jenna. You can do it. One and one. Good. Rest. Okay, so the problem with being good at stuff with me is that I'm like, okay, now we got to challenge you. So we're going to try a twist. Can you believe? Are you excited? <laughs> Can you believe it? Your luck. It's your luck. Can you believe? Can you even imagine how fun it's going to be? We're going to do it together. So I'm going to start in a twist so that we don't confuse you. My right leg is up. I'm going to switch and twist. Tap. Switch and twist. Tap. Now, I'm not resting on my shoulders. I'm reaching and lifting up so that my shoulders are away from the mat the whole time. Try it. Wow, that looks intense, Maddie. You're doing it, girl. You guys are, like, stronger than... A lot of people. Let's tell you that much. All right. Oh, Jenna, you're ahead of me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she's already getting into it because she's inspired. It's just like I'm not even, I don't have time to talk. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, when you're wait. working out with Jenna. Um, will you do the cues? Will you say, yeah. like, so finish, right. finish with her three each side so she can rest. So you're going to lift that leg up and hold, my love. Lift the, start with the right leg up. Uh-huh, and then you're going to twist towards the um, left armpit, right knee. The other way. Yeah. It's like a fancy bicycle. Exactly. Okay. Go for it. Twist. Yes. Twist. Yes. But I'm going to tap. Tap. Yeah, you already got it. You reminded me of the tap. There. You just keep on changing. Uh -huh. Yes. And then all you have to think about as you're twisting, you're going to keep twisting and you don't stop in the middle. And tap. Good. And tap. One, two, three. One more time each side. Fucking hell, she's made it. 